Oh, my poor little tree. Let's put a 20 at the root, and we'll have an 8 here. So we've seen a recursive add method. Let's have another look, a look at another method that's also recursive. And it's going to be the same idea. We're going to overload the method. So we're going to start with a method public boolean contains e object. And that's the method that we're going to allow people to use, right? And we're going to return contains object and root. Because if we want to know if our tree contains something, what we want to do is start at the root and say, is what we're looking for bigger than the root or smaller than the root? If it's bigger, we go to the right. If it's smaller, we go to the left. Bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, until we get to null. If we get to a null, it's not there. Yeah. And so we can have a recursive find method. So let's have a public, sorry, not even a public. Let's, let's mess with people so they can't access it. Boolean contains. It's going to take an E object. That's the thing that we're looking for and a node, E node. And of course, we start off with root, right? So if we get to a node that's null, we don't have that thing in our tree. So we can just say, screw off. So if node is null, return false, okay? Because it's not there. So if node's not null, we need to say, is this the thing we're looking for? And we do that using our lovely comparable statement. So here's comparable, e object dot compare to node dot data if that is zero, we found what we're looking for. Return true. So if the node's not null, and we're not at the thing that we're looking for, now we just have to decide, do we go to the right? Do we go to the left? Right, left, which one do we go? So it's basically the same statement that we've already seen. So we're going to use comparable again. E object dot compare to node dot data. And if that's greater than zero, we'll write it the same way. So if object compared to data is greater than zero, write it the same way. Then we're going to return contains object node dot write. If what we're looking for is bigger than where we are, we have to go to the right. Another moment where you have to pause and say, am I going the right way? Return contains object node dot left. We don't need an if statement here because if it's not there, we've returned something. If it is there, we've returned something. If we go to the right, we've returned something. And otherwise, we'll go to the left and return something. Okay. And so we just have this recursive method. So we keep saying we're gonna, we will return something. We promise we're going to return something. But we're going to go down to this node and ask what it wants to return. It's going to return something. It makes a promise, but it's going to go to the next node and say, what do you want to return? And so we're making this promise. Eventually, something either returns true or false. 
Either we get to the end of our tree, we return false. We get to the thing we're looking for, we turn true. And everybody all the way up the tree says, okay, that's cool. I can return the appropriate answer.